Hey YouTube, Joseph Vollmer here and today I'm going to be putting an exhaust manifold on a Pontiac uh, 2007 Pontiac G6 with the 2.4 liter 4 cylinder and I'll show you why. This one, let me get some light down here, you can see it's got a crack running right down the center of the manifold right there. Hopefully that's showing up. That's actually fairly common for these to uh, crack like this. Now I've already removed the heat shield, it's three bolts right in here. Um, I removed that already so I could show you guys the crack and I've taken the upper plastic engine cover that would normally be up here off to get it out of my way. Uh, but I'm going to have to remove the O2 sensor over here. It's just a matter of unplugging it, which the plug-in for it is hiding over here somewhere. I'm going to have to dig it out, just trace the wire back, but I'll get the O2 sensor out and then unbolt it from the head, unbolt it from the flange down here at the bottom and then it'll actually come right out the top right up in here so actually it's a pretty simple process so I'm going to take you along with me for it um, do me a favor guys if you have any questions about this go ahead and put them in the comment section don't forget to don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already rate the video when it's all over and hang in there we're going to get to work well you guys have a pretty good view from there now all the manifold bolts are 13 millimeter. A couple of the studs come out, it's not a big deal, don't worry about it. Alright, so that's all 10 of those. Now I need to follow that back. There's my plug in for the O2 right down there if I can get the safety clip out of it. There we go. I don't have a whole lot of room to work right here. You don't need room, but it helps. <laughs> have to bear hug this engine to get your arms in here. There we go. Now the one plug. There we go. Pop that out. And then, with any luck, I should be able to get my O2 sensor wrench on here hopefully break this thing loose. That's out. Now we'll take you underneath the car and unbolt that flange and then we should be able just to pull this one out and put the new one in. 
So, give me a second and we'll be right back. We'll be underneath the car. Alright guys, these three bolts right here, there's one, two, and a third one right above this O2 sensor. Those three are the ones that are going to have to come out. And I'm just going to hit them with the impact. If I break them off, it's not a big deal because the new, there'll be new studs and the new manifold. So, I don't know how good of a view I'm going to be able to get you guys this, but we're going to try. all three of them. So now, once I retrieve my last, where'd it go? It's sitting up here somewhere. There it goes. Let me knock her out on the ground. So now that I've got that out, we'll get this sucker back down at ground level and we'll get back under the hood and pull the old manifold out, drop a new one in. So now that we're back here on the, the ground level, should be able to push the exhaust system back enough to get the manifold out. And watch, watch, you can put a private in there and watch your wiring harness right here. You don't want to pinch that. Alright, now. Now that you've got a little better view, you can see how the crack was spreading around to the bottom side. There's another crack forming right there. When these manifolds start turning black like this, it's only a matter of time and you can see the crack back here runs from the crack on this side runs from here all the way up and through so it was time to change it out all right make sure you get the old gasket off you're putting all new gaskets on and then uh, got the old manifold gasket off Lay it up there the same way that came off. I'm going to take my die grinder and a wire wheel and get down here and clean off the rust and the old gasket material from the flame. Clean this off. That way our new gasket will seal completely. There's a little bit of pitting there, but for the most part, it's all cleaned up and it's nice and smooth. We're ready to put the new one on. I've got the new manifold here. First thing I'm going to do is take your stud, short thread end goes into the converter. You don't have to you don't have to get them any more than finger tight. Very carefully I'm going to drop the the gasket over and if you see how those holes are cut kind of they're not round. That's designed so that once you push it down on here it will hold itself in place so you can install the converter with the gasket in place and it won't fall off which is really nice this should with any luck there we go and 180 degrees out okay there's that one that one's in that one's in I remember, I'm working blind. I can't see anything. There we go. That's all. That's why I left the old gasket laying on top of the engine. That way I can compare it if I had an issue. 
I think I've got those two flanges together. Now it's a matter of getting this manifold down over the studs where it's supposed to be. There we go. I think that went on. So it's going. This corner of the manifold is needs to go down just a little more to line up with its bolt. guys that's just a matter of bolting everything back together and as you can probably tell I can't really see anything from where I am you guys have a much better view than I do I hope so it's just a matter of going through and feeling around and getting everything started where it's supposed to go and since I can't see anything, I try and work in order and work my way around from the top. That way, by the time I get done, I should be, you know, I go all the way around, I shouldn't have any hardware left. It makes it a little bit more, a little, a little more simple, I think. That way I don't have to hunt for any holes that I've missed, hopefully. Where's that? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Where in the heck's Ray Charles when you need him? Okay, we got all those tight. We'll stick our O2 sensor back in on our heat shield. And just a little bit of anti-seize on the threads really helps out. Plug it back in. Put our locking tab in, just like that, and grab the heat shield. And these are all 13 millimeter. Everything on this manifold is a 13 millimeter. Take the oil cap off. Tighten down. Nothing to do but start it up and make sure it doesn't leak. So guys, that's all it takes to change an exhaust manifold on one of these G6s. Do me a favor. Like I said, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Click the like button. If you have any questions about what I just did or anything else, put it in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to answer them. And guys, don't forget, get out there get your hands dirty. You might just have a little fun doing it.